Hey, okay, so there are two secrets to making frappuccinos just like Starbucks. First, a Vitamix. As much as we like to tell people, any blender will do. Blender, blender, blender. For frappuccinos like Starbucks, you have to have a Vitamix. That's the machine that they use. And the second secret to making frappuccinos is xanthan gum. It's the other answer to the often asked question, how do they get that consistency and not a coffee puddle with some snow on top? With the xanthan gum, you don't need much, just a pinch or an eighth of a teaspoon if you want to measure. So keep that in mind when you go to the store and there's some sticker shock, it's going to last you a really long time. We tested this recipe at least six times, so, so many times that we ran out of ice, and it worked consistently well despite minor tweaks and our whole food plant-based spin on it. The basic formula is this, half a cup of coffee, strong, brewed, cold, half a cup of milk. We used almond milk, any nut milk will do, whatever milk you want. An eighth of a teaspoon of xanthan gum, two dates, plus or minus one, depending on how sweet you like it, a pinch of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla, a heaping cup of ice. One cup is not enough, one and a half is too much, so maybe one and a fourth, and one tablespoon of coconut milk, and that's gonna give it that creamy mouthfeel that you get in the Starbucks Frappuccinos because they use whole milk. And then 30 seconds at the highest speed your Vitamix will do. You can try, air quotes, a mocha frappuccino by adding a tablespoon of cocoa powder. We tried a toasted coconut frappuccino by adding a half a cup of toasted coconut. But keep in mind, if you're using unsweetened coconut, you're going to want to add a little more sweetness. Uh, the coconut can be kind of bitter. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, no. <laughs> yeah, this makes about a single serving 12 ounces. We're using the low profile 64 ounce container, no tamper. So this is pretty cool for people who are not sure about what the low profile 64 ounce container can do or how how big of, of batches you have to make. We made this no problem. These are really fun to make and really, really good. So make sure everyone that wants one gets one before you run your cleaning cycle. Oh, and if you want to really, really make them authentic, put them in a solo cup with a cap and a straw so you can kind of swish it around and you know, have a frappuccino. We show you that, but we're, we try and avoid being shamed by the straw police. If you appreciate this video, hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you in the next one. Thank you. Goodbye. Do you want to know how many times Lenny asked me if I wanted to make frappuccinos in the last week? Uh, do you want to make homemade frappuccinos? Everyone keeps asking me to make frappuccinos. Can we make some frappuccinos? Sure.